don't do this to yourself. Am I nuts to marry Todd? Okay, do you believe that he loves you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that he'll be faithful to you? As faithful as I've been to him. What does that mean? Vicky, there are things that I haven't told him yet. What sort of things? It's with that attitude. I ask you to be my best man and you want to know what's in it for you? Well? Hey, hold on a second. Don't walk away from me. Yes or no? I want you and Mom to get back together. Tell you it's hot and all, but she's not Mom material. Well, first of all, you don't know, you don't know that about Taya. She might be. Secondly, she's not going to be your mom. Your mom's your mom, and, and, and Taya's not going to be a substitute for her. Plus, you're never going to see her, probably. She's going to be working all the time. But I guess if you want, you know, some new computer gizmo or something, that's fine. Only to you buy me a car. All right, agreed. So that's it. We're, we're done negotiating. You're going to be my best man? Aren't I always? Is this Mr. Rayburn attractive? What does that really matter? Oh, no, Dorian, I'm just using him to sink Taya. He's a means to an end. Right, 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 and he's halfway around the world. Well, uh, not anymore. What? He's here. Where? In your cabana. That's a cabana, not a motel. I'm just stashing him there until he can escort me to Todd and Taya's wedding tonight. Blair, you have got to cut this out and right now. With all due respect, I'm not talking about my family with two strangers. No, I understand, but um, I'm Marty Saybrook. I'm a psychiatrist, and sometimes it helps to talk to someone. I don't need a therapist. I live by the word of God, Miss Saybrook, and I cannot condone behavior that is sinful. Period. I'm not suggesting you condone anything. I'm merely talking about your son who, who needs your support right now. Who's on the path to damnation. Your son's a hero. Yes, he helped save my grandchild just a few days ago. You should be nothing but proud of your son. See you later. Yeah. Okay. You don't think that's an abomination? What was that? Where should go? I know you. Aren't you... Oliver's father? I'm Kyle. His friend. Yeah, I know exactly who you are. You're the boy who corrupted my son. I know what Dad thinks I always have. But with you, Mom, I'm not really sure. I was raised in the church. Same as your father. We thought we raised you the same way. It's a sin, Oliver. Doesn't a sin have to be a choice? You didn't make a choice to be the way you are? If I did, I don't remember when I made it. I see. Your father will wonder what happened to me. What did happen to you, Mom? After you walked in on me and Kyle? I didn't come here to talk about that. I know. I know. I should have addressed it back then. No. Yes, Mom. Yes. And then you closed the door on me. And then I locked it. Do you know how lonely it was in that closet? I was suffocating, Mom. I thought you'd grow out of it. Talking about it would have... What? Would have what, Mom? Made it real? I broke up with Kyle after you left. I told him that I never wanted to see him again, that he disgusted me. I loved him, Mom. And I gave him up for you. I respect your beliefs, but I'm in love with Langston. There's nothing sinful about that. Your mother believes what I believe. Then why is she asking for a separation? Or maybe she's tired of hoping you'll bend. Papi, agree to disagree, please, so we can be a family again. You want me to just look away? Yes. I respect you. Why can't you show me the same respect? You taught me right from wrong, Papi. You were proud of me. 
When I gave that commencement speech at graduation, I saw you looking up at me, and you had tears in your eyes. And I thought, there's no way I'll ever forget that. But you took it away. And for what? How I love my girlfriend? Say something. If mom can't live with the way things are, you're the only one to blame for that. I gotta go. I'm moving in with Cole today. We're not finished. What else is there to say? You wanna pretend like you don't have a son anymore? Fine. Mom has my address. If you change your mind, you should drop by. But you need to understand. My house. My rules. Geraldo. Now you're gonna lay a guilt trip on me? That's a good point. He's I, got a good point. I told you to stay out of this. Look, Dad, I hate that you and Mom are upset. Trust me, it's the last thing I want. And I'm sorry you got your pictures in the paper, but I can't let your fear take away my, uh... My, uh... Courage. Courage. This is between my son and me. I'm your son, too. Like hell. Look, I had your brother, Drew. I lost him. And I'll be damned if I lose you, too. <laughs>